Hello everyone and welcome back to another deck idea brought to you by Double Sleeves. Today we're covering the yellow leader from OP03. It is Charlotte Katakuri and uh, one that a lot of people are excited for. I've seen a lot of people asking for deck lists for this uh, this leader and it's definitely one that is on people's radar to uh, shake up the meta a little bit more uh, now that we've got the introduction of yellow. Uh, there's a whole new range of cards for us to play with and a whole lot of effects to mess around with life which is really exciting. Uh, but we'll start off with the leader. Standard 5 life, 5,000 power. We've got a Don 1 when attacking effect. You look at up to one life card from the top of your or your opponent's life area and put it at either the top or bottom of the life area and then this leader gains 1,000 power for the battle. Really powerful effect there. Being able to look at what your life is or your opponent's. You can mess around with triggers if you don't want your opponent to have specific ones and, and put that card to the bottom. Um, but just being able to get that plus 1,000 uh, for the one Don is really good as well. We've seen just how powerful it is to swing 7k into a 5k and being able to do that for one Don is just really good value. Moving into some of the character cards, we have Shirahoshi. Correct me if I'm wrong on the pronunciation of that one. Uh, it is a five cost, uh, zero power, 1k counter. Uh, on play, you draw three cards and trash two cards from your hand. Which is a great way to fix your hand. Um, not a great, not a great way paying five for it. It does come up, but not often. But it's just a really good trigger card. Uh, being able to trigger this card off your life to be able to fix your hand to perhaps set up the next turn or to try and get some more counters uh, if you're in a bit of a sticky situation. Uh, still a great card, and it does come up a fair bit hitting this off the trigger as well. And uh, you still have some kind of manipulation with this card with a few others in the deck. In the deck. Next we have Struson. Uh, it's a 1 cost 1000 2k counter, which is why we run this card. We do have an on play effect. You may trash one card with trigger from your hand uh, and KO up to one of your opponent's character cards with a cost of 1 or less. Uh, doesn't happen often, but it's nice when it's there, but you're mainly running this for the 2k counter. Next we've got Charlotte Brulé, 3 cost 1000 power 1k counter blocker. Um, and we've got a really powerful trigger again on this card, just being able to play it. Really good to be able to take a life, uh, especially when you know it's there, uh, being able to get a blocker on the field for free. Then we've got Charlotte putting the one drop searcher for the deck, 2000 power, 1k counter. Really good to be able to have searches that have counter power as well. On play, look at four cards at the top of the deck, reveal one big mum pirates type card other than Charlotte putting or up to one Sanji and add it to, the, to your hand and then place the rest uh, at the bottom of your deck. One of those Sanjis that we can grab is the two cost 3k Sanji. It is a 2k counter with a, a pretty good uh, attacking effect as well. So it's done times two when attacking. You may add the top or bottom card to your life, add up to one card from the top of your deck to your life. So it is a plus one uh, to your hand. Although nothing hurts more than uh, taking the bottom life and it ends up being a Charlotte Brule or, or a trigger that you want in your life, but uh, at least you get that extra card to your hand. Then we've got the uh, Charlotte Pudding 2-drop 3k, uh, 2k counter. On play you get to look at one life card from the top or bottom, uh, sorry, at the top of your opponent's life area or yours and you can put it at the top or bottom. Uh, so it has to be the top one, but either yours or your opponent and then you can rearrange uh, either the top or bottom. And it is a 2k counter again. It's annoying that we can't grab this off our one drop searcher, uh, but it is what it is. Then we've got our three cost 5k Charlotte Perispero, uh, one of the first SRs that we're getting into uh, from yellow as a color. And uh, a pretty cool K on KO effect. We get to look at the three cards at the top of the deck, reveal one big mum pirates type card, add it to your hand, and then the rest go to the bottom of the deck. So it does incentivize your opponent not to try and KO this card. Uh, and the longer that it sticks on the field, the more attacks you can get in with it. And we've got a really good trigger on this card as well. You may discard one card from your hand and then you get to play it. So it saves you uh, the Don to be able to play this card and you can attack with it as soon as it gets back to your turn as well. Then we've got Charlotte Cracker. This one is a four cost 5k with 1000 counter. Uh, Don times one, while you have less life than your opponent, this character gains double attack and 1000 power. Uh, so that's on both players' turns as well. And a similar trigger here, you may discard one card from your hand and then you get to play it. So a lot of value there. And then we've got the Charlotte Smoothie, 
similar stat line, 4 cost, 5k, 1k counter, and this one's when attacking you may add one card from the top or bottom of your life to your hand, and then this character gains 2000 power for the battle. It does come up and it does help when you're trying to push for game, uh, especially when you know what the top or bottom card of your life is. Uh, it might be a bit better in your hand than what it is uh, in your life for the time being if you feel like you have control of the game. Uh, but you do have that same trigger again, discarding one to play it. Now we have another SR. This one is from the starter deck. This is the seven drop Charlotte Linlin. Uh, it's an 8,000 power uh, character card. We've got an on play effect. Your opponent chooses one of the following effects. They either trash one life card from the top of your deck, sorry, at the top of their life area, or they you put one card from the top of your deck on top of your life area. So uh, you're either gaining a life or they're trashing one of theirs. It's a really powerful effect. Uh, it does give your opponent the choice, so they can obviously choose what's gonna be best for them in that situation, uh, but being able to deal with an 8K uh, character card is pretty difficult. And we've got another AK character card in the Charlotte Katakuri as well. This one is an eight cost uh, and on play, put up to one character with a cost of eight or less on the top or bottom of its owner's life area face up. So again, you can rearrange the uh, Shirahoshi to the top or bottom of your life to be able to get that trigger again if you need. Um, or if your opponent has an eight cost or less, that's just gonna be really difficult to remove. Uh, then you can just simply put it into their life. Um, you do give them an extra life, but if they have one less body on the field, then uh, it's gonna be hard for them to try and maintain your board state. So really powerful effect there and some of the better kind of board removal that we have within this deck. We've got a lot of life manipulation, but not too much that can really uh, remove uh, our opponent's characters with effects. We're gonna have to pretty much swing into them a fair bit. Best card in the deck we've got is the 10 cost Charlotte Linlin. You can win games on the back of this card. It's a 12K uh, on play. If your leader has big mum pirates type, uh, place up to one card from the top of your deck at the top or bottom of your life, and then trash up to one card from the top of your opponent's life. So just really powerful effect there. You're being able to gain a life and remove one of your opponents at the same time. And then you have a 12K on the field and we just know how difficult 12K is to remove as well. Uh, it just requires so much done to be able to even attempt to, to remove this card. Uh, it's a big swing in the tempo, especially if you're able to sit at high life uh, before, like up until you get to that 10 don. Moving into some of the event cards, we have Ikoku Sovereignty. This is a two cost event card uh, with a counter. Up to one of your leader or character cards gains plus 5,000 power for the battle. Really powerful at being able to get out of a lot of those uh, bigger attacks. Uh, we see a lot of attacks swinging in for 2k higher than the attack, the defending card or even 4k higher than the defending card. Uh, and our opponent can really get punished uh, if you drop this card. And we've got a trigger card. You may discard two cards from your hand, add up to one card from the top of your deck uh, to your life. So you can replenish the life at the, at the cost of two cards in hand. Uh, if that's gonna be a make or break between losing or winning the game, it can really make a big difference. And then the last event card we have is Thunderbolt. Uh, it is a bit of a costly one. So two Don, uh, but the main is you may trash one card from the top of your life area and you get to carry up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. Uh, so it is costly, but being able to control your opponent's field uh, so that you can get to that later game and start replenishing your life with your Charlotte Linlin uh, can win you the game. And we've got a really good trigger. Again, we've got KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. So no need to trash the life uh, to activate that effect. It is simply the trigger. Uh, so as soon as it gets revealed off that life, uh, you essentially are trashing a life. I mean, uh, but you're not losing a card from hand and trashing a life. So really powerful. It's got some good ways of being able to, to interact with your opponent's cards on their turn as well. Uh, but a, a quick one today, a really powerful deck and uh, one that I think a lot of people need to be familiar with because we're definitely going to see this this deck uh, in, in locals and in vets events in the future. As always, if you do enjoy the video, if you like the deck, be sure to leave a like and comment. Uh, we definitely appreciate it, and hopefully we'll see you in the next deck idea.